Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its side lengths are 1, 3, and square root of 13, respectively. And now we are going to calculate uh, this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video, I am going to show you two different approaches to solve this problem. First one with the law of cosines, and the second method is without the law of cosines. And now let me show you how to find the value of this angle x without using the law of cosines. And here I have constructed an auxiliary triangle CDA, as you can see over here. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle CDA and we can see that this is a right uh, triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is a. So it's become a square plus b square and c in our case is one whole square. Let's simplify. So that's going to give us a square plus b square equals to one. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on another triangle C, D, B. Now once again, let's assume that this side length D, A, is uh, lowercase a and this uh, side length cd is uh, lowercase b then this uh, total uh, side length uh, db is going to be a plus uh, 3 so that is going to give us uh, a plus 3 and now since we are dealing with this uh, right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem once again and here's uh, our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side uh, a and this side uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is a plus uh, 3 whole square plus uh, b square. And c in our case is uh, square root of uh, 13 whole square. Now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square. I am going to apply it uh, on this uh, left hand side. So therefore the left hand side is going to become uh, a square plus uh, 6a plus 3 square is uh, 9 plus uh, b square equal to this square and square root cancel each other out. So we ended up with uh, 13. Now let's go ahead and rearrange uh, these terms. I'm going to put these a square and b square together. So therefore we are going to get uh, a square plus uh, b square plus uh, 6a plus uh, 9 equals to 13. And now we can see from this equation 1 uh, a square plus b square equals to 1. So therefore I'm going to replace this a square plus b square by one. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, a square plus b square by 1 over here. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So we got uh, 6a plus uh, 10 equals to 13. And now let's go ahead and subtract 10 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore uh, 6a turns out to be 3. Let's divide both sides by 6 to isolate a. So our a value turns out to be 1 divided by 2. So thus our this a value turns out to be 1 over 2. In other words, our this side length d a turns out to be 1 divided by 2. And now let's focus on this right triangle c d a once again. And here I have magnified this triangle c d a over here. And this is our special 30, 60, 90 triangle. And here we can see that this is our 90 degree angle and that's the largest angle. So the side opposite to this uh, 90 degrees uh, is going to be our uh, largest leg. And this uh, 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to this one is going to be our smallest 
leg. And in such kind of uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle, uh, the longest leg is always uh, twice the length of this uh, smallest uh, leg. And now we can see in our case, uh, our the smallest leg is uh, 1 divided by 2 and our longest leg is uh, 1. So therefore we conclude that this angle uh, DAC is uh, 60 degrees and this angle uh, DCA is uh, 30 degrees. So that's our angle uh, CAD is uh, 60 degrees. And now we know that this whole uh, state angle is 100 and 80 degrees and uh, this angle is uh, 60 degrees so therefore uh, this angle is going to become uh, 120 degrees so therefore this angle uh, CAB turns out to be 120 degrees and now we can see that this angle uh, CAB is just our angle uh, X so therefore we conclude that our angle uh, X turns out to be 120 degrees and now I'm going to show you how to solve this problem by using the law of uh, cosines and now let's recall the law of uh, cosines we got these uh, three law of uh, cosines let me go ahead and label uh, this side uh, A this side uh, B and this side uh, C and this is our angle uh, X so we are going to apply this uh, law of uh, cosines so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, law of cosines. So C in our case is a square root of 13 and that's going to become whole square equal to A in our case is 3 square plus B is 1 square minus 2 times 3 times 1 times a cosine of angle x let's go ahead and simplify square and square root is gone so we got 13 equal to 9 plus 1 minus 6 times the cosine of angle x so this is going to give us 13 equals to 10 minus 6 times the cosine of x let's go ahead and subtract 10 from both sides this is gone so therefore we got negative 6 times cosine of x turns out to be equal to 3. Let's divide both sides by negative 6. This is gone. So therefore cosine of x turns out to be negative 1 divided by 2 or in other words x could be written as cosine inverse of negative 1 divided by 2 and this is going to be equal to 120 degrees so therefore our this angle x turns out to be 120 degrees so thus in uh, both scenarios our angle x turns out to be 120 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye